First at five, we've uncovered new information about a deadly overnight crash in Coventry. And it was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. New tonight, police have identified the victim along with what happened moments before the crash near Town Hall. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Coventry with the latest developments. Police say Matthew Caldwell was fleeing from a traffic stop when he crashed into this pole. Friends and family spent the day stopping by the crash site, leaving flowers and notes, praying in front of the repaired utility pole where 20-year-old Matthew Caldwell of West Warwick died in an early morning crash. Eyewitness News was on the scene shortly after it happened on Route 117. Coventry police say Caldwell was speeding past Town Hall on Flat River Road. When an officer tried to pull him over, police say Caldwell fled. When the officer caught up with him, he had crashed into the pole. The sedan was crushed and a utility pole down, leaving about 20 residents without power this morning. Those neighbors described what looked and sounded like an explosion, the transformer lighting up the sky. Police say Caldwell died at the scene. He didn't have any passengers. National grid crews repaired the line and installed a new utility pole, which loved ones quickly decorated with a small memorial. They collected some belongings ejected from his car. I spoke to Caldwell's friends and family members, who describe him as a good person, intelligent, and a 2013 graduate of Coventry High School. And police say the crash is still under investigation. Live in Coventry with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. We begin with a deadly car crash in Coventry. One man was killed after the car he was driving hit a utility pole. Now, it happened just before 2 o'clock this morning. Investigators say an officer tried to pull the driver over, but he was going too fast. Just hours ago, police identified the victim. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is there now live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, friends and family have not stopped coming by this scene, dropping off flowers and balloons at the pole where a 20-year-old man died. Police say the young victim of a deadly overnight crash was fleeing a traffic stop when he crashed into a utility pole. Friends and family are mourning 20-year-old Matthew Caldwell of West Warwick, a 2013 graduate of Coventry High School. Eyewitnesses tell us it was a horrific crash, a transformer lighting up the sky on impact. Police say Caldwell was speeding before 2 a.m. on Flat River Road when an officer tried to pull him over. But they say Caldwell fled. The officer lost sight of him. Then came upon this scene. The car crushed, a utility pulled down. Police say Caldwell died on the scene. The power went out for about 20 residents. National Grid crews spent the morning repairing the line, cleaning up transformer fluid and installing a new utility pole. Loved ones were quick to decorate it with a small memorial, notes with inside jokes for their friend and roommate. They picked up some of his belongings that were ejected from the car. Friends and family didn't want to speak on camera, but told me Caldwell was smart, a good friend and a good person. Police wouldn't answer any questions about the crash. They say it is still under investigation. Live in Coventry with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.